Hi, today I'm going to be talking about how to graph a line that's in slope-intercept form. Let's first talk about slope-intercept form. The form is y equals mx plus b. This form gives us a lot of information about how to graph. Um, and the two important pieces are this one, which is b, which is the y-intercept. This is where the line intersects the y-axis. And m is the slope. Slope, when you think of slope, think about the steepness. How steep is the line? Um, is it a really gradual slope? Is it a really uh, steep slope where you would roll down really fast? So those are the two important things. Um, so let's look at an example. Let's look at y equals 2x plus 3. Now, in this equation, we're going to start always with the y-intercept to plot our first point. So as you can see, plus 3 is the y-intercept. So all we have to do is go up on the y-axis and plot a point at 3. So I've done that here on the equation. So that's our first point. Now I'm going to look at the slope. The slope is 2. Well, what does that mean? Slope is defined as um, the change in y over the change in x. Or the way to think about it is how much is it going up and down versus how much is it going left and right. So in this case, we're going to write it as a fraction. So we're going to write it as 2 over 1. And the way I like to think about it is these are both positive, so we're going to go up 2. And we're going to go to the right, 1. So the slope is 2 over 1. So that means for our slope is always going to be up 2 and to the right 1 for every movement. So if I go back to my line that I'm creating, I have the dot at, y, at the y-intercept 3. So from there, I'm going to go up 2 and over 1 and plot another point. Now, I can also keep doing that. So from that point that I just drew, I could go up another 2 and over 1. I remember, I only need two points to draw a line, but the more I have, the more, um, the better it's going to look, the more accurate my picture is going to look. Now, also, what I can do, um, this might be a little confusing, but I can also go down 2 and to the left 1. And you notice if I do that, it's going gonna, it's gonna to form the same thing. So if I go down 2 and over 1 to the left, Oops, my smart board's a little bit off. Then what I get is that point, too. Now I have enough points where I can actually draw the line. Okay, and I've created my line. And it only took two pieces. Once I'm in slope-intercept form, I only really need two pieces. I have the y-intercept, which I plot first, which I plotted at 3. And then my slope, which I break down into the change in y, or the change in up and down values, versus the change in left and right values. And notice this slope was 2, and that's pretty steep. It means for every time you go up 2, you go only go to the right 1. So that's a pretty steep slope. Okay, hope that helps.